थैंक यू श्रीमती शर्मिस्ता सेती जी थैंक यू सर थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग मी द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू स्पीक ऑन दिस इंपोर्टेंट बिल दैट सिक्स टू प्रोटेक्ट वाइल्ड एनिमल्स बर्ड्स एंड प्लांट टू एनसीओ इकोलॉजिकल एंड एनवायरमेंटल सिक्योरिटी ऑफ द कंट्री सर ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ माई पार्टी दैट इज बिजू जनता दल आई राइज टू सपोर्ट दिस बिल सर आज वी ऑल नो दैट इंडिया इज द होम टू सिक्सटीन परसेंट ऑफ वर्ल्ड पॉपुलेशन एट द सेम टाइम डिफरेंट स्पेसिस ऑफ मामल्स बर्ड्स रेप्टाइल्स एम्फीवियंस फिशेस invertebrates and all the 50000 plant species also call this subcontinent home encroachment on this wildlife habitat have posed a serious threat to the very wildlife especially to the endemic species such as asiatic lion bengal tiger india white drum vulture nilgiri leaf monkey etc 172 wildlife and endemic species of india are also included in the international union for conservation of nature designated threatened species of the world which accounts for 2.9% of the world which accounts for 2.9% of the number of the threatened species of the world at present we have wildlife protection bill custom act import export policies in india but still illegal hunting poaching activities and trade is flourishing further wildlife protection act does not cover the foreign endangered species of plants and animals the concussion of the inadequate legislative protection and and all informed enforcement officials often result in endangered species and indigenous wildlife being passed off as foreign species which are not regulated by any formal legislation further some of the uh, uh, migratory species are not protected by the wildlife protection act similarly conservation of fishes has never been adequately addressed in india due to lack of scientific data and preparation about uh, perception about the criteria to be used for characterization and designating conservation status of certain fishes for an effective approach to combat the Ill illegal trade in wildlife the legislation for protection of wildlife need need joint enforcement and transnational congruency for uniform implementation our state government under the leadership of honorable chief minister sri navin patnaik ji has taken several steps for protection of forests and wildlife the state has 19 wildlife sanctuaries national park elephant and tiger reserves identified corridors for addressing conservation of wildlife of state in natural environment of animals 11 zoos have been established in the state 15 eco sensitive zones around the protected area have been proposed for declaration as per the direction of government of india all sanctuaries are guided by a wildlife management plan prepared for the 10 years similarly all zoos have operated as per the zoo management plan approved by central zoo authority as of now 539 members of eco development committees have been formed covering an area of 43455.32 hectare of protected area in order to protect elephants and to ensure minimal human elephant conflict 25 hectare of rejuvenation of corridor has been taken up during 2021-22 vulnerable national and highways uh, national and state highways are being identified to take steps to check roads accident of animals 586 numbers of anti depredation uh, depredation and anti poaching squads elephant squads and 115 elephant trackers have been engaged to prevent depredation of wild animals government have launched awareness programs with the help of bss and eco development committee members ngo school students further 2785 numbers of gajja sathi have been engaged in 557 numbers of villages nandan kanan geological park received pollution control appreciation award apart from that the persons having exemplary contribution in the field of wildlife conservation are felicitated with the biju patnaik award with wildlife conservation which has been instituted since 2005 sir as this so we can safeguard them protect them with strong legislation and implementation mechanism this bill has been examined by standing committee on science and technology environment forest and climate change the committee while examining the bill have made certain important recommendations and i think these recommendations deserves consideration the committee believe that the infrastructure need to be mobilized more meaningfully in the cause of wildlife conservation protection and management 
The committee recommends that following insertion in section 33 of principal act for the words manage and maintain all sanctuaries, the words manage and protect all sanctuaries shall be substituted. I think this is a good suggestion. After all, our intent is to protect them. Sir, in clause two, the committee recommends that after the word protection, the word research may be inserted, and after the words management of wildlife, the words enabled by science may be inserted. I think there should be a distinction between a criminal act and possible erroneous breach of law, especially regarding permission grant, granted for education, science, and research. The latter should attract fines undoubtedly, but not imprisonment. The Clause 6A2, the committee recommends that for the words, not more than 10 members to be nominated by the, chair, by the, by the vice chairperson from amongst the members of the board, the word 15 words, at least one third of the non-official members of the state board to be nominated by vice chairperson, at least three institutional members of the state board to be nominated by the vice chairperson and director of Wildlife Institute of India or his or her nominee may be substituted. If implemented, this will make the board more professional with domain experts. The committee also noted that several species were missing in all three schedules and that the bill fails to address human-animal conflict. To remedy this, the committee has recommended that a human-animal conflict advisory committee headed by Chief Wildlife Warden to suggest the mitigation strategies such as changing crop cropping patterns and drawing of site-specific plans. I am hopeful that the House will deliberate in detail all these suggestions and will draft a robust legislation. The need for effective strategies and solutions for the protection of wildlife in India and conservation of wildlife is the need of the hour. The government must work in accordance to the present needs and demand in situations when these wildlife species are threatened and many of which have come to verge of extinction. The state government and central government is required to work together and implement all the relevant laws and conservation strategies in order to protect the wildlife and prevent illegal hunting and trade of these endangered species and wildlife as a whole. Thank you, sir. Shri.